it's time for me to show you how we do the calculate this particular part. Now, with the direction, you simply can translate these factor to the, any origin you want. You only have a theta and a phi, like that. Okay, so it allows you to get a direction. However, you cannot simply translate this part. In other words, you cannot say, well, I'm going to move my integral starting from maybe a different point. It won't work. The reason was the following. You see, if inside of it, if my a is r sub a equals 0, you're going to see r prime like this square, right? So therefore, the integral itself is entirely different. So you cannot simply translate this part to get rid of this r like this. It won't work. So therefore, this our second strategy is the following. So this is me coming down over here. This is how we do the calculation. So now we have r a minus r prime underneath of it. Keep in mind, previously we already have a theta and a phi. Here we have another crazy thing, which is r prime. So our goal is the following. We're going to use theta phi prime to replace this r prime. But they are not the same thing. How to deal with that? Well, here is a hint, what you can see. Suppose you have a point. Let me choose this one with better. Suppose this is the point P here. Now, you know this Z is a fixed. So we're going to use Z, which is over here, and to replace uh, this particular part. You remember this is the hypotenuse itself, so which is R r minus r prime that's hypotenuse so in other words we don't like this part no we don't like it we're going to use the z theta or phi whatever you want to use it to replace this one so in other words we want to make sure this particular part becomes a known function of uh, z which is given this is the fixed as a constant never changes and plus theta prime phi prime and in this case, is actually even the phi prime is not involved. Let me show, oh, sorry, this phi prime is, is involved. But in some cases, like if the circular ones, let me show you, like circular ones, even the phi doesn't matter because you choose here and versus here, as far as the distance uh, from the center to the radius stay the same. So there is no difference with that. I will show you in a minute. Now, when you have a situation like this, then all you need to find out was the following. Suppose this is the segment which you are interested in. I'm not going to choose along the y-axis. I'm choosing to the arbitrary direction. Let's suppose I'm interested in this particular part. Okay. Now, in this case, of course, the Cartesian coordinates would be simpler. But let's say I'm going to insist I'm going to use the uh, sphere coordinate. So then you can see here is the small element that you have. From here to there, let me draw another line. This is the hypotenuse which we are interested in. I only have one color. In other words, this is the line that I'm talking about. Okay, this is the line that I'm talking about. Now, I have Z here. Did you see I have Z here? I have theta here, and this is the right angle. So therefore, this hypotenuse self, in this case, we have the uh, the uh, we have uh, hypotenuse is over here. This is the theta. So that essentially we have cosine theta prime. Cosine theta prime just equals z over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the one we want to get rid of it. Did you see? Once we use the cosine theta prime, the hypotenuse. Wait, there's no square. And uh, the hypotenuse is can be replaced by uh, cosine theta. That's how we do the change. So once you do that, now you realize this situation, which is the denominator now is just very simple. It just depends on the z and theta prime. And uh, in our case, it's also, of course, for, the, for this one, it would depend on the phi as well, as you can imagine. And because this is a straight line like this. So the problem like this will be a whole lot better if you use the uh, the Cartesian coordinate 
and uh, so that that that's also simpler. Okay. So next video, I'm going to show you a real example how to do the calculation.